Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Written Faye and we have here Emily Bates with the Rosebud Challenge. When last we left off she put on a amazing party. We only got silver but silver made sure that we got this pretty couch. So if we're gonna get furniture all the time I may actually have her throw more parties and things just because it'd be fun to furnish the house without having to pay for it really. Um, we took the day off as a vacation day because the party ended about 3 a.m. I think and she was exhausted so we put her to bed and so now we'll have the day to enjoy ourselves and let her kind of recoup from everything 128 simoleons for books because flashback Flash Paper Fiction is making 101 simoleons. She is tense from no low fun. And while she cooks that, we're going to take a look at these. She took pictures with Luke last night. Let's see, this one. We can sell. That one's okay. This one's supposed to be better quality but I like the, the lighter one that you can actually see them better. And then we have this one, poor quality. And this one's not, I don't like this one as well. So now we have a picture of us and Luke. And she has her grilled cheese. If you're so tense, then watch a TV show while you're eating your food. And we did get an update yesterday. So you will see that the food should no longer be spicy. It should not take her an hour to eat her food now. Well, it might because she's taking the time to watch the TV too. But the food will not be spicy. Grilled cheese will just be cheese and bread now. No jalapenos or anything lurking about in it. And apparently she's just carrying around this garden salad in her pocket. But that's okay. Let's see. We are going to start her day by harvesting all of the things. Because we did make a pretty penny harvesting, especially all the plants. Um, and part of that's my bad. I don't know why I wasn't doing that sooner. I guess part of me didn't think that the plants would be worth that much, but they kind of, they really add up. <laughs> they really add up. And I'm hoping to save up enough for um, either making the room bigger or a small little office off to the side where we can buy her a computer. And she can start writing from home. And now she's playful. She wants to be mischievous, start a club gathering, and take a vacation. You already are on vacation. That's why you're not being yelled at, even though you're not at work. Okay, you're done with this. So yes, we are going to run around our neighborhood and collect everything. And then, depending on what time it is, I'll either have her invite somebody over because getting to know Luke a little better wouldn't be a bad idea. Or I'll have her go right. But it really depends on what time she finishes running around and collecting everything. And how much we collect, money-wise. Because if we collect enough and can just buy ourselves a desk, she will probably just stay here. And that would be so much easier. I'd probably, if we're going to be hosting parties, which, free furniture and stuff, because even if I don't keep it, I can sell it and earn some simoleons that way. Um, ooh, missed you. Um, I completely just got distracted. It might be best to try and save up for a small room to put the computer in, 
so that when she has parties, we can lock the room and then the people can't use the computer. Because not only do people always fight to use the computer, but they then break it. And then we have to spend either the money or the time to fix it. And that's not real fair to us. So. But all of these fruits should hopefully add up to a nice penny. We can extract the fossil from that. 20 olives, 10 tulips, 4 lemons, and 20 cherries. And she's still playful. Because that will last for 2 hours. And it helps with her... Wait, where's that? She got chrysanthemum. We're selling that. 75! Playful mood will help with running around and collecting everything, though. Okay, one, two. Let's see. I forgot which of. There's nothing over here. I forgot. Hey, I heard you became good friends with Blue Colton. He's pretty cool. Thank you. I forgot which of these I... I know, that's extract fossils. So I can have her dig. And dig. And harvest. And my notification wall is full. Okay, I can do that. A raptor claw. Worth 70 simoleons. And a time capsule. Okay, those, and we're going this direction. And another time capsule. I'll open one of those. Harvest that. I'll harvest that. Did we get this tree? I don't remember. If we did, and it's a repeat, she'll just kind of sh shrug her shoulders and move on to the next thing. If we didn't, more for us to sell. So, I'm not having too much luck with spawns in like the parks, because every time she goes to the park, it's still empty. But we're having oops, a pretty decent time with the spawns here in her neighborhood. So overall, not terrible, I guess. Because at least some of them are spawning. And that should be everything. Wait, did we harvest you? Yes, we did. Okay. I want to make sure we get everything. And then we're going to have her, let's see, it's going on five. Pirate, we can sell that. Ten civilians. That's a little disappointing. It's a little disappointing. And tulips. So, when she's done harvesting... I'll probably have her go back to her place and take care of her needs some. What'd you find? A sunflower frog! We can breed that with that frog. And we 
got another sunflower frog. Leopard frog is worth 100. Eggplant's worth 100. Spotted heart frog. So we can actually sell the sunflower frog. Okay. She has officially collected everything I think she can collect at the moment. So we'll have her go here and use that. Then go here. I'm going to type a thoughtful shower. And while she's doing that, I will sell. Tulips, 200 simoleons. Lemons, 102 simoleons. Onions, 90 simoleons. And cherries, 120 simoleons. 918. Yuki is common, so we'll sell her. And Gonk is common, so we'll sell him. Now, these blackberries are pretty expensive, so I'm going to have her come over here by the mailbox. And we are going to plant a couple of these. That must be the end of my property. We'll plant four. And sell the rest for 286 simoleons. Okay. Once you're showered, you're going to plant that. Plant that. Plant that. And plant that. And then you're going to clean that. I know, you want some fun, and we will have some fun, I promise. And you do that. Actually, we're going to pause here. Pool tools! Yes, I know. Is that that was a door, right? Oh, the door has windows. Okay. That works. Okay, so now the question is, we want a desk, and we need a chair. And how much do I need to save for a computer? The cheapest computer is 800 simoleons. So we're... We're getting there. Um, I could splurge on it at a window, but we'll wait on that. Um, Hey, Emily, it's me, Luke. Do you want to go out on a date? Oh, he's asking us out on a date. That is so cute. Oh, that is so cute. I was actually going to invite him over and just have him them do a little something for food, but we're totally going on a date. She plus Blackberry Slater. And this will hopefully up her fun. I think that is adorable that the NPCs will now ask you out on a date. I knew they'd invite you to be like, hey, it's bear night at the club. Do you want to go get a drink? But he's actually asking her out on an honest-to-God date. Will we have goals? No. 
because he's the one that asked us. Wait, what is this? It's the happiest hour for all our cheapskate sims. Everyone enjoys drinks at a discount price. Oh, they must be having a special night out. Let's give him a pickup line. That's right. A story about a pink house. You totally like a pink house. Don't tell me you don't. Yeah, we can actually find out. Let's see. You look like you're having a good time, Emily. We are, Luke. We are. I saw about the cupcakes. What do you want to do? Tell a dirty joke. <gasps> we can have their first kiss. Anyway, let's go. Wait. Where are they? We want to be able to see this. We want to be able to see this. <gasps> Look at them! Aww. They're so cute. The state keeps getting better. Didn't you tell a dirty joke? Go ahead and tell a dirty joke. Look at him, he's all alienate tonight. Parched patrons from other world locals enjoy drinks at a discount price. So nice to be with someone I can talk to for hours. Aww, we feel the same way, Luke. Watch a romantic TV show. That one we can't do right now. She can recite love poetry. She can recite love poetry. I think he's feeling it. That is the. I don't know why, but the hand through the hair is like the most hilarious. Let's see. Let's sit together. And we'll change this to romance. Come on, Luke. We want to sit together. She wants to level up in charisma. Oh, poor boy has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> he totally kicked him off the couch so we could sit together. Aww, she's tantalizing banner. Koi sims and flirtatious jokes have set the tone for the romance. First kiss, swirling with the feelings of passion and happiness after a first kiss with someone new. Nicely decorated and deep connection. Building strong relationships with others is cause for happiness. <gasps> they can snuggle. I've never had this option before. Aww, look at how cute they are. What was that? What was that game? We're totally asking him to be our boyfriend. Will you? <gasps> Yay! 
This is the best date ever. Luke just became Emily boyfriend of Emily. That's right. We're extremely happy that you're our boyfriend. Conversation. Why is he very angry? Oh, because he's got to go to the bathroom. We're going to let him go to the bathroom. New partner. A new relationship is a happy event in any Sims life. No, we're not gonna, because we're almost done with our date. Watched a romantic comedy. Now she's very, now she wants to woohoo. But I don't think they've got anywhere here to woohoo. Do they? Because it'd show up here if they had like a bush that you could do. No. Uh, let's do this. We'll invite him to stay the night. Get off of that. Wait, Luke, where did you go? Where'd he go? There he is. That's so weird. He just like disappeared after he came off the... A sleepover? Sounds great. Oh, we can propose too. Actually, now that the date's over, why don't we go home? Oh, wait. <laughs> No, because we're out with him. <laughs> Ali has discovered that Alan Dubos is an alien. The disguise seemed perfect, except for one rather, well, alien detail. Oh. Oh, she's angry at the alien deception. And she's tired. So if we go home... My question is, if we go home, will he come with us? Because we asked him to stay the night, so I'm assuming he should stay the night. I know, we were both hungry. Oh, she's so exhausted. Poor Emily. I'm hoping since we invited him to stay the night that he'll come home with us because I have no idea where he is right now. And it would be awesome if we could fulfill this one because she wants to woohoo with somebody. And who am I to say no? Did he come home with us? No. Um. Let's have her do this. Luke is sleeping. Oh, I guess it, it won't work then. Well, grab a serving of this since you're starving. And then we still need to be planted before you go to bed. I wish I could pin this one, but that one's going to go away once she stops being flirty. 
<laughs> now that she's got the chair, she's going to eat in there. We're slowly getting there with our house. I mean, we have a whole second room now. So that's definitely another step. Because this one will probably stay in office. And then once we have some more, I'll probably make her an actual bedroom in this area with possibly another second bathroom. Except for the alien and the tired, she is doing awesome. And it's so good to see her eat without having the food be spicy. It's been so long since they've been able to eat a regular meal and oh. at a regular time for it. She's so she's so flirty and ready for anything. And it's not too late, so we should be fine going to work tomorrow. Um, and depending on how good we can get our performance, since we've already solved this case it wants us to solve, we might, might be able to work on getting another promotion, either tomorrow or the next day. Sorry about that. My cat was trying to claw on something that he shouldn't be clawing on. Okay. But since the blackberries are the one that are bringing in the most simoleons, we are having, yes, four of them planted on our house lot so that hopefully we can earn a decent amount of simoleons with these. And she's got a little bit of the gardening skill going on for it. Which is always good too. And now she can go to bed. Which she really does des desperately need. That's right, Emily. Okay, I'm going to do this real quick with that, and we have a new spotted eggplant frog, which isn't worth anything. I am going to end the episode here. We will probably, if she's up to it and has the energy after work, I will probably have her propose and move Luke in, because two incomes is definitely better than one and will get us an actual bedroom so we're not a bedroom kitchen house um and we'll see where it goes from there since he is in also in the detective career i would probably get him a new job based on whatever his aspiration is um just because i don't like having to which one do I follow people in the house, same household? Makes it a little more confusing and you can't really work on getting their goals up to get them to the top of their career if you have to follow one and then the other because then you have to trade off kind of and you're doing the same thing and it gets twice as repetitive. So we will move him in and get him started in a new career. And now that she's all good except for the energy, which won't get too high because she's got to go to work in six hours, we are good to go. I will see you all in game next episode. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you know when the next episode goes up. And make sure to hit the like button if you like this video. Bye!